for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I am a shameless fan of getting free stuff. Especially free, tactical stuff from one of my all-time favorite designers in our hobby, the vaunted and legendary 3D printed Solid. What we have today are a pair of Nightingale holsters and a Nightingale mag holder. And uh, they are fantastic. I have been using 3D printed Solid holsters for many, many years now. Quite a while ago, they sent me a pair of Hammershot holsters and a pair of Kronos holsters, and those have been part of my loadouts ever since. I have taken their Hammershot holster to pretty much every HVZ I have attended since I got it. They are magnificent. And uh, these are no different. Let's, uh, let's head out to the field and uh, give, them a, give them a run around. Right, I'm here in my arena because we're better to test the loadouts with the holsters and the mag holder. And it's, well, they're fantastic. I, I cannot speak highly enough of 3D printed solid holsters. Everything about them is fantastic. It all works just beautifully. The thing, I mean, the design is such that it's high in the back, low in the front, which makes drawing really easy because you only have to draw it that far before you can bring it up. It also makes holstering it very easy, even without looking. You can easily tell where it is and, and put it back. That's, that's just a neat way to do it. The way the magazines are in here, when you grab them and pull them, they are the right direction because these are angled, so it doesn't matter. That's all well and good. You can dump it in the dump pouch, you can drop it on the ground, whatever. Really quite svelte and fantastic, and I dig it. I have them, of course, on my heavy battle belt, but you can put it on just a light belt, both items, and have a single belt that's got your full loadout. It's got mags. Obviously, I would recommend adding a dump pouch for when starts, dumping your mags, what have you, but makes for a very, very simple, very, very light, yet very, very functional loadout. Good for things like a scout or recon or skirmishers, or if you're just one who likes being wily and quick. Um, fabulous for that. Um, speaking of running about, knees bent, running about, kicking, all that sort of stuff, they are not going anywhere. Nothing is coming out. It's... They're really well designed, and I like that about them. You can fairly easily reholster magazines if you have them in the right orientation. Again, without looking, you can just, that's where it is, that's where it goes. They're, they've got, um, can't think of the word, beveled is not the word I'm looking for, flared, flared openings on both top and bottom, so it's very easy to reload them. Simply fantastic. I love them. Get yourself a pair. More knees bent running. Not doing any somersaults. It's damp and I'm old. So running around in the woods is all well and good, but the real test is how does it actually perform in an event? And I actually did get the chance to run these at an event this last weekend, the first event that I've attended this year and uh, they've worked absolutely flawlessly, absolutely perfect. I have no problem drawing them, holstering them, never had anything fall out. They, they stayed on exactly where I wanted them to and they, they, were, they were just absolutely fantastic. So let's take a closer look at them at the various features. Now, one thing that you do have to, that is worthy of note is that they have to be mostly stock. So you can put top rail on, and I do plan to probably eventually, so if you wanted to put an optic or something, that will work. But uh, the holster does get in the way of where people usually mount side rail. Be aware of that. You also really can't do much in the way of replacing the barrel or the battery door. Luckily, it doesn't get in the way of battery door thumb screws, the ones that out of dart sell. That in no way affects the, the how it fits, which is good, because otherwise I would have had to dremel some stuff out, and I wouldn't have wanted to do that. Um, you do have to keep the stock trigger guard because that is what the locking lug on this is keyed to. So this slots into here. There is a, a spring-loaded tab in there that it actually locks into, and that's what keeps it from falling out, uh, which was a slight problem for me because I had replaced the uh, trigger guard on this one with a more svelte 3D printed one, so it would fit in regular holsters. 
Um, and then I had to swap it back and I couldn't find the orange one it came with. I'm sure it's in a bin around here somewhere. Hopefully I can find it because I'd like them to match. Or maybe I'll just have to get more. <laughs> anyway. Um, for how for the strapping, you've got one leg strap that does have elastic on it, so it will hold nice and tight to your leg. I really like that. It's so much more comfortable than one that doesn't have elastic, and it uh, it also has uh, grippy rubber on the inside, which, again, is why the straps stay exactly where you want them to. They don't ride up. They don't ride down. Really, really nice. You then have a, a very adjustable leg strap. You can adjust how high or low it is on your leg, and then the, the loop that comes. This is not actually the loop that came with it. I replaced the buckles with the one that matched my standard gear but it comes with a loop that will, is good for at least a two inch belt uh, maybe a little bit bigger this one is made for a, a inch and a half belt but um, very solid it's not going to come off uh, good solid two inch buckles really really cool now you may have noticed one feature that mine has on it that is not actually standard and that is this mag holder i have recommended that they consider some sort of a mag holder option and they are considering it um, I'm sure they could design one better than I could. This is one that I kind of hacked together, sliced together using some files that I found on Thingiverse. Uh, it was originally designed by a uh, UPW Designs. I'll put the link in the description just because. And uh, I'd love to see one that had like a little bit more of a flared top and was a little bit thicker and a little bit more robust. But um, I didn't have any problem with it yet. We'll see how long it holds up. Uh, if it if it ends up falling apart, well, you know, I 3D printed it with you know couple of meters of filament so um, I wouldn't be surprised I could probably buff it up a little bit but so far it seems to be holding so we'll see I'd love to see their take on it because again I'm sure they would come up with a much better one especially if we take a look at what they've got here I don't know how well it's showing up on camera but again they've got flared openings top and bottom makes it really easy to uh, load your mag in you can go either direction so you can go that way, you can come in from this way, so depending on whether you want to pull down or pull up, I mean, obviously you could just flip this over either. Uh, you could put them in this way when they're full, you could then tuck them in this way when they're empty. Um, they're open on the top, so you could top off your magazines as you went. The ones they sent me came, again, with belt loop style uh, clips. They also make these same basic concept uh, in Molly, if you wanted to put Molly ones on there instead of standard belt loop ones. Uh, I like that it came with belt loop because of how light a loadout this is. It really makes sense to simply run it on just a belt with these, that, and a dump pouch, and you're good to go. And in fact, I have designed several loadouts with that basic concept in mind. I've ordered parts. They'll be here eventually, and you'll get to see those. So that should be a lot of fun. But I am every bit as impressed with these as I expected to be. I absolutely love them. If, you're, if you've got Nightingales, I cannot recommend these holsters enough. They are simply... Train! The, again, how easy they are to draw. You only have to draw it that far before you can start bringing it up and bringing it down and holstering it. It's easy to do without looking as demonstrated in the running about portion of all of this. So, yeah, definitely something I highly, highly recommend. So, get yourself one.